There is a lot of useless advice out there that just doesn't work. However, this does. Get ahead of your opposition. It really does work, so give it a try by checking out the link in the description below. The question, what should one emphasize on a cover letter for an entry-level journalist position? Answer by Diane Mendez. During most of my interviews, I realize two things. One, even though I feel like I'm moving at breakneck speed, to you this process feels mind-bendingly slow. Two, you have no idea how much I want you to rock how excited I get when I read a terrific cover letter, encounter a superlative clip, or find myself engrossed in an interview. Or what a heartbreak it is when you seem great on paper, but present lackluster work or a dismal demeanor. Improved my cover letter so much, free cover letter video for the serious job seeker. So to make this process harder on me, in the best possible way. Here are 10 things I'm wishing for from you and for anyone applying for a job in journalism. I know it's hard to discern which of the approximately 300 essential skills and characteristics we're most concerned with, but read them all twice. Highlight the ones that apply most strongly to you, and underline the ones that pose a bit of a problem. In your cover letter and interview, I'm going to want you to emphasize the former and give me reasons not to be concerned about the latter. But when there are multiple positions posted for the same team, look for which elements they share, and which are distinct to each. The former will tell you the qualities we're focusing on most carefully, and the latter will give you a good hint about how we think of this particular opening. Your cover letter should tell me two stories, and both should be fascinating. First, as concisely as you can, tell me the story of how your experiences have shaped you for this position. Then, with similar economy, tell me the story of what you'll do with this position if you land it. Beyond those few occasions, be gentle. There's probably an optimum level of persistence that can slightly help your prospects or speed the process along, but it's unlikely to make a significant difference in our decisions. If I veer away from asking questions and start riffing off your ideas or telling stories of my own, don't wait for the interrogation to resume joining. Your questions, reactions, asides, brow furrowed musings and rejoinders are all just as interesting to me as your answers, and if I'm trying to elicit them, it's a good sign.